Faced with a resurgent Taliban, U.S. President Donald Trump has approved sending more troops into Afghanistan. But with the military push, he's also trying to establish new peace talks. The U.S. Special Peace Envoy to the area, Zalmi Khalizad, has won the support of Pakistan, which will significant influence over the Taliban. And he enlisted the help of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates as well. All four have been sitting down with Taliban representatives in Abu Dhabi. For the time being, the priority issue for the Taliban will be a peace deal with the United States and also for the Afghan government. As long as they are part of the political power, I think they will be rethinking on their relation with the neighboring countries, including Pakistan. So the priority things for the Taliban will be just how we can, they can stop this war and can put an end to this bloodshed that's happening every day in the country. Afghanistan is America's longest foreign war. Troops went into the country after the attacks in the U.S. in September 2001 and forced the Taliban from power. But the Taliban never went away. The war has cost more than a trillion dollars in financial terms and more than 147,000 people have died there, including more than 5,000 Americans. It's understood the U.S. is pressing for a six-month ceasefire while the Taliban wants a clear timeline for the withdrawal of foreign troops from the country. War in Afghanistan will only end when Afghans uh, sit together with mutual respect and acceptance, uh, discuss a political roadmap for their future. So our efforts and those of our partners are, are focused on this objective right now. Previous efforts to broker a peace deal in Afghanistan have failed. But this is the third time that the US and the Taliban have met this year. And so that's sparking optimism that somehow things might be different this time. No one is offering any guarantees, but it is possible what may emerge is a roadmap for future talks. Now, a number of countries have interests and stakes in Afghanistan, and so reaching a final deal will be difficult. And in the meantime, the fighting continues. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the White House.